channel today I have another open package and this company is called Voyager like excuse my French is my French is not that good and uh, but um, yeah Voyager um, soap and candles company uh, they are based in Surrey BC Canada and so they have quite a big um, soap and candle supplies company lots of um, as actually when I started my soap uh, making and then that's the first company I order and I ordered the uh, sodium hydroxide and then like couple fragrance oil they're popular fragrance oil samples and um, couple small thing like butters and like coconut uh, cocoa butter and couple other butters as well so and then this time I just we they have like an inventory sale and then so I did um, a big order from them and then uh, gets stuff what I want and then I just want to show you guys uh, what did I get and yeah and then the first impression how did they package and how yeah how they look like basically and you know sometimes when you order something online it's just so hard to expect what how they look like and how big they are and then the um, so first thing open the package I got the calendula paddles and that's how this is the um, 227 gram which it is um, 8 ounces in American so and I like their label and then they have that company name and calendula petals and then they have the the name yeah and then the gram and then they say um, externally using only and so this is how big they are it's quite big and then it's and it's a quite a reasonable price it's only at um, $12.95 Canadian and I also ordered two um, rose petal two different colors rose petal and this is pink rose petals and buds and then this is red rose petals and buds and they even have the Latin names on it if you can see in here and uh, they are two ounces each which is 57 grams and um, I kind of little bit disappointed I thought it would be the color would be a little bit more different than red and pink but they pretty similar and um, yeah and then they don't I don't find much uh, as a butt you know uh, they don't have much uh, butts in there so mostly it's foul petal but um, hey I can uh, use them on top of the soup for decoration and sometimes I do a, a rose flower um, water as well and this is the camel flower hole and same thing so they have the very clear labels and um, they have the Latin name on it and the gram and then the answers both um, you can use in Canadian and American and the last thing is um, any um, plant-based thing is this is the first time I got it um, um, I, it's called a blackberry seed and they have uh, the INCI uh, name in there as well which is so handy when you like build the form for Canadian um, Health Canada um, form for uh, cosmetics and this is two ounces so it's quite happy and then this is two ounces uh, how much they are in here and yeah so they basically put in the soup and uh, you can just do a little light uh, exfoliation and uh, yeah so I'm kind of excited to use it yeah I was expecting a blackberry seed would be smaller but actually they look like more like sesame seed size and second I or we order a little bit this is my first time to order the co cocoa uh, butter the authorized one is two pounds that is two pounds and then they come with um, come with um, kind of small bag it's a uh, 0.5 pounds each so I have four of them and so yeah 
So I'm kind of excited to use them with my, my three butter soap. So. And I have, of course, and every time I go to any uh, soap company supply, and then I will or I will pick up a fill of the um, fragrance oil because I'm a frequent fragrance oils like quarter or snob, whatever you call me. And uh, yeah, so I order one, two, three, four, five, five different fragrance oils. This is just a simple fresh linen. Uh, Fragrance oil. This is uh, 20, 227 grams, which is 0.5 pounds. And yeah, so and also the uh, they don't tell you the usage and that kind of thing. But um, that is, oh, yeah, the pretty long juice, so smelly. It's very really clean, crisp. Yeah, and um, not much floral in there. It's really basically is um, yeah. Um, a long drizzle smell. Yeah, it's clean. It's nice. Yeah, people will like it, I think. And this is um, a cranberry fig, and it's uh, same as 0.5 pounds and 227 gram. I have periods. I have this one from Brambleberry, and uh, so I really like the smell. And then, look, the American is so expensive right now, so I got. Um, and I saw in the companies that I saw in here, so I, so I said, hey, I, why don't I try it? And then I compared them, it's really similar, and then, um, yeah, they're really similar. And yeah, cranberry had a berry smell, very fruity, and very, very friendly smell, everybody would like it. And this is energy, same thing, um, I have one in, um, Bamboberry, and then I uh, saw that in this company, so I ordered another energy fragrance oil. This is really nice and it's strong too. It's really fruity, fruity, and it has citrusy, and have a little bit of floral in there. It is delicious. When I was like, mmm, and it lasts forever too, and like this really strong taste. And this is um, black raspberry vanilla. Everybody uses it. It's the most popular scent ever. And when you're making soap, and so yeah, as I said, just basically some sort of sander order for me this time. And yeah, it's black raspberry. So you smell ba uh, berry smells, and um, yeah, tone of vanilla in there and and the last not least is the coconut lime and look at this one it's a little bit bigger I don't know why see this is 0.5 and yeah I can see it's like actually it's from here but but it's just the bottle is bigger it's not like there by volume so ooh ooh I like it because I love coconut so I love this smell Oh, it smells so good. Ah, oh, it smells. Yeah, it's, it's undertone. It's the lime. What well, hit you the first notes is coconut. Oh, very coconutty. And then after that, it will be smell like lime. Under, very subtle. Really nice. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Mmm. Remind me coconut lime pine in Hawaii. Ooh, that's a good one. And so I also order a fill of the. Um, Set essential oil and um, this is um, 100 ml which is 3.4 ounces and this is a tea tree oil and mandarin red which I opened it already and this mandarin red is I highly recommend it it's like smells it so good yeah just smell like mandarin when you peel up the the mandarin and then you smell that it just exactly like that it's really fragrant it's really nice and then yeah so that is how they before they open and that's how they look like and they package really well in the box and then they never get damaged and then and this is NC Star um, essential oil which is a um, little bit restriction in Canada because some people will kind of irritated on that and um, so you only can use kind of like 
less than uh, it only can maximum use you can see be uh, 0 0.7 ounces into the total soap or oil of soap so and yeah but smell mm, not my favorite it's a little bit strong like licorice oh yeah um, not my thing but I order it because it's really standard for essential oil and then they're using them in lots of things and lots of mix with essential oil essential oil mix and yeah and so another one is actually I order a lot Ooh. this is a, a, um, a mix of central oils they I think their own blend of um, yeah so it's called uh, Benzoni Benzoni yeah pourable essential oil Benzoni yeah, Benzoni yeah and let me just smell it oh it's nice it, it's a little bit of vanilla there I can smell vanilla sweet hmm, I need to go back and check I don't know I can smell like very subtle vanilla smell in there I like it and not too invasive it's not like wow lemongrass same typical you know essential oil and it's really nice I like it not too powerful sometimes you can open the drawer it's like wow in, in there not into your face very subtle and um, a little grassy tone very grassy tone in there and this is vanilla essential oil and ooh, stick too hmm. Oh, I like it. Yeah, they're very subtle, very sweet, and um, yeah, vanilla. Like it's not strong as the um, when you're cooking. You know, like you put into um, yeah uh, into your cakes or um, loaf. It's very subtle, and I like it. I do really like this uh, subtle smell of vanilla essential oil. And, two, and then I have two smaller ones in here, which is patchouli, essential oil, and key lime. Key lime, yay. This is patchouli. I never really like the smell, of it, but lots of people say patchouli, patchouli, uh, which is like really nice smell, and like they either love it or hate it. So I just kind of buy my bullets and I bought like um, 50 mil in there and I smell it I don't like it at all and um, maybe you can help me leave a comment tell me what would be would be a good um, essential oil blend with the patchouli because like I can see why people like it because they kind of like licorice ish like um, smell like yeah but I'm not a big fan of licorice either. Yeah, I just like my fruity sweet kind of person. So this is key lime. Then I open it, and it's like I, from here I can just kind of smell the key lime, the lime smell. Very nice, but a little sharp. Beware of it, and um, and also lime. I believe that they have restriction for 0.7 as well. Um, and then this is a peppermint, typical, but this is a peppermint from Japan. And let's open it and smell it. Yeah. Ooh, peppermint. Yeah, woody peppermint. Minty smell. Yeah, nothing really noticed. Nothing really strike me as like, oh, it's different. It's, yeah, typical peppermint. And cinnamon, that's what I'm looking for. The cinnamon leaf eccentric oil. Mm. Ooh, ooh, that's different. Not the cinnamon, I think, but yeah, um, it's central oil, so they're a little bit strong, uh, but not too strong. It's like you're scared, but um, not I expecting it. But probably will be a really good blend with um, 
vanilla and then a little bit of lime and yeah that would be a great blend with um but you cannot really use it as um itself i think like you cannot really use it um, just individual as like cinnamon like cinnamon sugar yeah that would be good hey okay? yeah anyway that's all i got from from this company is yes, the name is 